Peach's memory is a hack that has been requested a few times now. And now that I've finally gotten around to playing it, I'm actually a little pissed off that it took me so long. This is probably one of the best hacks I've played in a while. Peach's Memory is a medium-scale ROM hack with a handful of all-new levels and 60 red stars to collect throughout. The game starts out with a scrolling introduction story set to the theme of Ocarina of Time very reminiscent of Mario in Ocarina of Time. One thing I love most about this game is how distinctive and detailed the art style is. It's clearly somewhat different from the original, but not so much so that it doesn't look like a Mario game. The worlds are full of these unnecessary details that add a lot of legitimacy to them. My favorite world is probably the Paper Mario world, and it's not just because I like Paper Mario, but it's just executed so well. It just feels so authentic right down to all the platforms made out of cardboard. Also, the coins are all 3D models, which, even though it's pretty common now, I still love it. Each level is distinct from one another. You have the usual tropes like desert and snow, but they're very compact and designed quite well. They aren't so ginormous that you'll be taking an international flight to find the last red coin, and they aren't so small that everything feels trivial. And that's the other thing. The difficulty. This game is noticeably more challenging than the original, which is good. The game will, in many situations, involve close encounters with unforgiving doom. Like this part where you have to jump on this dude to twirl across the deadly quicksand. Or how about this part where you have to use the Thwomp Mega Long Jump to get across this giant gap. One cool thing this game has is its camera system. One of the camera modes has been replaced by this more modern one where the camera gradually circles around you as you're holding down the left and right C buttons, as opposed to only moving 45 degrees every time you press it. Or .785398 radians. You know, if you want to be a bitch about it. I think one of the other great triumphs of this game has got to be its music. The game consists of remixes of other video game songs and they all sound impeccable. I played a lot of ROM hacks where the remixes are just a little bit off, but the soundtrack in this one is nearly perfect, and the choices themselves are great too. Each level has these cool little secret areas where it's basically just a pure test of platforming skill, kinda like the secret levels in Mario Sunshine. In terms of functionality, the game is fairly stable. The only time I can remember encountering a glitch was when I was fighting the giant hands. You want to know the difference between this boss and Jeffrey Epstein? Well, there you go. What makes this game so great is the quickness of it. Since the levels are reasonable enough to navigate, you don't get lost very often trying to look for the next star, and every level is detailed enough that you'll usually know exactly where you are and where you've been to keep you from going in circles. It's probably one of the qualities that I like the most about the original game, and I think it's one of the reasons that Mario 64 speedrunning has endeared so long. You know, besides the fact that Mario can just bend the laws of physics to his will. Final verdict? It's real good.